point. <coughs> My voice is going. Uh, it's only a matter of time once I do these. So temp x, temp y equals map x. I'm just confirming everything's right. Um, to make sure we don't have any mistakes. So tau num x equals map x divided by tau size x. Uh, map y equals uh, divided by. Yeah, and then what we do is we've got both our um, point i equals 0. Actually, we're going to call this one y equals 0. Um, y is less than 12. Now 12 because we only have 12 rows on the tile. So if you go and load, I'll show you this quickly. So we only have 12 rows here. Feel free to count them and prove me wrong because <laughs> that would be really funny. But, ah, uh, crap, where was I? So we were at map handling. Um, y++. plus plus. So we have two thingies so we can draw a 2D array because it's a 2D array. Um, and once again, uh, this just tortured me once I first when I first got access to it because it was like oh my god this is so complicated and then you look at it a few more times and it's like oh that's better so if it's less than or equal to 15 now 15 because we only want to display um, we want to only display f uh, 15 rows at a time we can't display too many rows or update 15 rows we won't always display that many um, and from here we're going to call the method paste tiles. That's that's the method we spent five billion years doing. Paste tiles. X tile num x. Um, yeah, we've got pretty much everything set out. Tile num x. Let's just copy these. I'm going to be lazy. Sorry. Uh, int y. What's y? Oh, why is that? <laughs> What's y? Fail. Tile num y. So just copy x and put y in there. Uh, temp x. Temp x. And finally, temp y. And that's that. All this does is just run everything that's here, check, uh, then this checks what type of um, image is it, and then it displays it based on what image is stored in the array. <coughs> so this is our display level method. Now, other than this, um, we've completed the map handling class, so that's one down, uh, about five or six to go. But this is one of the slightly difficult ones. There are more complex ones, but we'll get to them. So next thing we're going to do is going to check my uh, steps guide here quickly. Um, mm, yes, <laughs> the common sense thing to do here would be just test this. Oh my fuck, ah, oh my god, I can't believe I did this whole one uh, without making a mistake, that's insane. Um, that won't happen ever again, it's like a miracle. <sighs> Anyways, um, so our next thing to do, so we've written the map handling class. Now we need to create the map handling object at fire movement. So let's look for fine movement. Here it is. So we're going to create our object here. So it's going to be called map handling. And we're going to call it um, mapping. Actually doing caps because it's a global class. So we'll make a big deal out of it. And then we go into the main. Right? And then what we're going to do here <coughs> is we're going to uh, write the, um, the things we just did to make sure our map draws. So if my Hopefully my celebration wasn't too early, but we'll see now. So mapping, and as usual, when you press dot, if you did it properly, then you will get the um, thingy coming up properly. So first thing we're going to do is going to do play sounds. So that for you is relevant for me. It isn't because I don't want to play sounds whilst I'm talking to you guys about this. So next thing we're going to do is going to go display level. All right. Now the order of these, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. In most cases, it doesn't unless you have some sort of bug about. Um, uh, then we've got level animations. Oh, actually, oops, mapping. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's something else. Display information. Now this will display our score and lives and all that good stuff. And that's it for now. Um, I think that's it. Now if we run this, and hopefully it's been done properly, we'll see our, our map. Oh, we haven't done it properly. Beautiful. Uh, and handle exception at integer division by zero. Now what have we done here? I'm going to have a quick check at this, so uh, if I move map handling. Now this is probably, a, uh, this is, I, I deserve this for, for being cocky about this and f celebrating. Uh, less than or equal for x equals x, x less than x plus plus, for in y equals zero, y is less than 12, y plus plus, that seems fine, paste tiles x, down m x, y, uh, down on y, temp x, temp y. Now let's just check these to make sure we're okay. God, so in down on x, um, 
in tile num x equals my x divided by number of tiles x. Uh, in tile num y, map y divided by tile num y. Um, in temp x equals map x minus tau num y tau num x um, map x oops sorry about this guys I just noticed I don't know why I did this see this is what happens when you copy and paste basically that should be a minus and not a division um, so let's try it out now beautiful so here's our map so as you can see we've got clouds we've got the score coming up beautiful stuff we know it's level one uh, we've got no Mario yet because we haven't created them we've got the clouds we've got air we've got the um, ground we've got this bad boy animating this is one of the things we've done already so you should have that going as well um, and that's about it we've done this bit so our map is complete so next thing we're going to do is So the next thing we're going to do is write the whole map handling animations class. Now this one is a, one of the smallest ones, but I think pretty much the smallest um, class about. So we're going to do this one. So first thing is, this is the one that handles animations as well as SA. You remember the one we did earlier? The one that um, handles special animations. This one handles the special animations of sprites. So map, just copy this. I think I'm going to get some rest after this one. Um, but you guys don't have to worry about that because I'll be hearing a flash that's how fast I sleep animation int score to display so what this one mainly does is interact with um, interact with the um, thingy one the uh, let's have a thing score to display interacts with the names class score to display int type of score int x so everything you see here is useful int y uh, int top frame top top frame uh, int solid now solid frame is the frame that's used once the animation is complete like I told you earlier it was the uh, on the example I told you was the uh, one up plus sixteen and the last one is int frame uh, delay now um, I added this at the end because I, f I felt as though certain images or certain animations needed a different uh, speed at which they move so I added the delay uh, for those in so what we're going to say is going to say int oh sorry if type of score uh, equals equals image so that's type of score because you can make sure that's valid yep because because image what we do is we say so we assign images to this so what happens is if it's an image we're going to do a few different things so map x max map y equals sa so we say you know if it's an image start the special animation for it um, and then we say int i now this is something we're going to have to decline in a little bit i equals um, misc dot find free animation now um, you will not get anything coming up and if you try and run this you will get an error um, but don't worry about it as soon as we finish writing this we'll jump onto the misc class and we'll write our find free animation class uh, method sorry um, and then we're saying if names so once again remember to copy this bad boy because it's going to be a bit of trouble um, did I put yeah yeah I did, I did do that so we found we look for another animation is this animation free um, uh, busy uh, equals equals false so if that animation isn't false you know now all this does is look for one in theory we shouldn't need this uh, if that is what doing this job properly we shouldn't need this but in case for some weird reason we occupy every single animation, it never is gonna ha never is gonna happen. By the way, just letting you know that. Um, but you, we can have to be sure about these things. So, um, so if type of score is what we're gonna do here, equals equals. If type of score equals equals image. Um, this one for some reason I felt the need to put it within um, within the method. So I don't know why I didn't do this one with the one on top but I'm sure there's a good reason for it 
dot id uh, equals map x and y. Okay, so we do that and then we say anims i dot anim delay anim delay equals delay. So we're saying assign that to that delay. So we're just assigning everything a bit like a constructor. That's what this uh, method is doing pretty much. Anims i dot. So make sure I don't forget anything here. Set image equals uh, image to display to display. Is it image to display or is it score to display? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's score to display. Yep, my bad. We did declare it up here. That's what you get for looking at. Um, help. Not help, but you know, notes. Uh, name side dot highest frame equals top frame. Top frame dot uh, x. This was one of the easy ones. Dot y equals, you can take a guess, y. Um, then we got dot busy. Well, it's now busy because we've assigned it a task of doing the animation. And then we say dot timer equals, so we reset the timer. DB timer, so we don't want to be screwing up any of the animations. And then we say name is I dot frames equals zero, so start at frame zero. Okay, so dot type of score, type of equals type of score. So we're saying uh, type of score, we're saying it's an image. So this is only so it can later be checked on the uh, methods being run in the for loop. Um, and then what we do is we got score to display top frame. And the only reason why we're doing this now is because uh, we're going to need this method for the next thing we write. And if we don't have this, we're going to have tons of errors. So that's why we're doing this first. So frames equals zero type of score. Uh, so yeah, we're doing dot original mapx. Now this is something I found really cool because what it what this does is it stores the maps. Uh, did I call? Yeah, equals um, mapx. So this stores the old map, and this is um, something I had a bit of problem with at first because. Um, so let me just read my comment here. It stores the map x so we can keep the image, and it's exact exactly. So what happens here is we store um, the original map location. So we can later, um, once the, once we move, we can keep the image in the exact location by decrementing one from the other. Okay, so we compare the current position with the previous position. You'll see uh, <laughs> if you don't have this, you are in a bit of trouble. You will be anyway. This is just like I said earlier. This is one of those problems I spent a fair bit of time on. A ton of really complex solutions, then an easy one comes along. I just love it when that happens. So this method is complete now. Okay, I hope it is anyway. Do a quick build to fix any stupid errors we have. We have four errors. So misc we don't have. Yep, we're expecting that. Uh, solid. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Solid frame. All right, solid frame. Yep, and uh, I think that's about it for errors, right? We just have misc pretty much. Yeah, it's just misc. Yep, exactly. Miss dot fine for animation. <laughs> That's fine so far. Now what we're gonna do is our last method for this class, which is so this one is called um <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I nearly forgot to do that one again and that would have been a, a nice amount of time searching and be like, oh no, what's going on, what's going on? Level animations. Now this one is the other one starts an animation. This one runs them. Okay. So for int is what we're going to start with. A loop for loop, going through all the animations in i equals zero. I is less than max animations. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it is. Animations sometimes just going randomly works. Um, so we're saying here, just like this one, we're just saying, um, we're just saying, so, um, if the animation is busy, let's, you know, let's find out what it's got to display. Um, uh, first thing we want to say is we want to say if db timer minus anims uh, i dot timer 
so we're going to check that timer is greater now this is where we're using everything we set up up here and you'll see how useful this can be so um, 